After 23 years of applying for the Winaha, my father was unsuccessful in 2021. I wanted to give him another chance at a bull of a lifetime with the 2022 Oregon Governor's Elk Tag. I got a call at, uh, I think it was four o'clock yesterday, and Brian said that he had a bull spotted and called my dad. Had one flight left, talked my wife into it. <laughs> uh, flew from San Diego to Seattle, and Seattle to Pasco, and then my dad picked me up and we came over to Elgin. Now we're here, about to dive in. It was a long, steep, treacherous ride in the dark on horseback. We got into the elk right away and saw mature bulls everywhere. Oregon Backcountry Outfitters, owned by Brian Sanders, is the premier elk hunting guide in Eastern Oregon. I knew Brian would work hard and have the resources to help myself and my dad find that bull of a lifetime. We hiked in further to find Brian. Brian was waiting for us and ready to make it happen on a big seven point bull. At this point, I'd been up for <laughs> over 24 hours. It's probably close to noon. They go down there and, and they sit on the bull. They're looking at it. He's dry firing, getting him comfortable. You don't have any ammo in, so don't stress right now. Do you see him? Yeah. Can you see any idols or just stand there? Yeah. So all this is lining up for my dad to take one shot. We have all these horses. We have all these guides. Brian's been sitting on this bull, and he's feeling the pressure. I can tell. I'm nervous. Thank you, Cody. Thank you, guys. My dad made a good shot, but due to the steepness, didn't want to go down for the recovery. He did want to go down, but I highly advised it. He shouldn't go down, because there's no way I thought I could pack him out of that hole. Nice job. Uh, no, I didn't do anything. I just pulled the trigger. Everybody <laughs> else worked. Did all the work. That's, uh, the, that's the very crucial part. Yeah. 
little point, though. I know, getting in no here is tough. No one else can pull the trigger for you. Yeah, and I'm very uh, uh, humbled and appreciative of it. Do you want to go down there? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long you. way. I'm going to go check it out, Dad. All right, love you. Love you. My father was the one who got me into hunting. To watch him harvest a big, mature bull in the Winaha unit was incredible and more satisfying than doing it myself. Jesus, what a tank. Wish my dad could come down, there's no way he'd make it. We worked as a team and were able to get the bull to my dad by the evening. How many 65 year olds do you think have been back here? Not very many. <laughs> I don't think there's probably been, probably more than five. What are we, five miles in? Too far. <laughs> wild and extreme landscape of the Winaha with the screaming bulls was an experience I will never forget. Quite, quite possibly the most scariest thing I've ever done. <laughs> the memories from this trip are something my dad and I will cherish forever. Tell you what, this country is unforgiving and better be ready. I'm a pretty happy camper. Poor old Thomas, he had to babysit me the whole time because I couldn't walk. 